just two weeks shy of the two-year anniversary of the January 6 storming of the Capitol by supporters of Donald Trump, an unprecedented chapter in American history. A committee of bipartisan lawmakers recommending that the Justice Department prosecute the former president on multiple criminal charges related to his role in attempting to overturn the result of the 2020 election won by President Joe Biden. We're going to be very, very careful to not to politicize this process at all. This administration and the DOJ uh, conduct criminal investigation independently, free of any sort of any kind of uh, political interference or any interference at all. In the meantime, Attorney General Merrick Garland must decide whether to act on the January 6th committee's recommendation. The best thing that President Biden can do is do what he's doing, which is say, you know, the House committee made a really compelling case. In my view, it's pretty clear. I agree with with their conclusions. We have to continue to defend and promote democracy. And now it's up to the Department of Justice and get out of the way. The Attorney General is appointed by the President with Senate confirmation. The Department of Justice gained more independence with steps enacted after the Watergate scandal in the 1970s when President Richard Nixon tried to use his top legal officer to pursue a political agenda. There's also the Ethics in Government Act of 1978, which allows investigations into misconduct to operate independently of presidential control. Garland used it to appoint special counsel Jack Smith to lead the Trump investigations. Such an, uh, an appointment underscores the department's commitment to both independence and accountability in particularly sensitive matters. Trump calls it a witch hunt. This is just a witch hunt. Over the years, I've given millions and millions of pages of documents, tax returns and everything else, and they have found nothing which means I've proven to be one of the most honest and innocent people ever in our country. No former U.S. president has ever been indicted for criminal conduct. Many worry it will worsen political divisions, but some observers say it's worth it. There's at least the possibility of the genuine independence of the Department of Justice um, and a careful prosecution waged against a former president who, in important ways, was lawless. Um, that will have the effect of shoring up the rule of law and protecting our democracy. That's that's the, 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 the bet the Department of Justice is making. The committee recommended Trump be charged with assisting or aiding an insurrection, obstruction of an official proceeding, conspiracy to defraud the United States, and conspiracy to make false statements. Patsy Widakuswara, VOA News at the White House.